five, three, two, one. Release, release, release. Clean release. Ignition. Good rocket motor burn. There's Mach 1 trimming now. Trim complete. Unity is pointed directly up and heading to space. Things are looking great. We are 25 seconds into the burn now, approaching Mach 2. 30 seconds, Mach 2. Everything's looking really good and stable. 40 seconds. 45 seconds. Fifty seconds approaching Mach three. There's Mach three. And sixty seconds, and that is a full duration burn, folks. We are headed to space. And the passengers in the back have been cleared to unstrap. Our predicted apogee is two hundred and seventy nine thousand feet and climbing. The pilots are now unlocking the feather and um, as soon as they do that, it's going to initiate a backflip for Spaceship Unity. This is normal. We want those windows pointed down towards the Earth to maximize that incredible view. So Feather is coming up now, and the pilots are also enabling the RCS, or Reaction Control System, which is what they'll use to control the attitude of the vehicle while we're outside the atmosphere. All right, Feather is all the way up. We are at about 250,000 feet now and climbing. As soon as we cross the boundary to space, we'll hear a word from our founder, Sir Richard Branson. Come on, Welcome to space, Unity 22. So it doesn't sound like we're about cameras uh, recording things on board today, and we'll be sure to capture his magical words and share them with the world when they're available. We reached Apogee 282,000 feet. Remember the day, remember where you are, and remember who you shared this with, and remember the name Virgin Galactic, because today space is virgin territory. The culmination of a life's work, more than a half a century since the world rejoiced in and was transformed by humans leaving planet Earth, Sir Richard Branson fulfills his long-held dream of experiencing space with his crew. Congratulations again, Richard, and congratulations also to Sarisha and Colin on becoming astronauts today. And welcome back to space to Dave, Mike, and Beth. Oh, you can see him now. So we are on the re-entry portion of our flight now, and the mission specialists are heading back to their seats. Our training team has worked really hard on this portion of the flight to make it very natural and intuitive for passengers. Now, when we talk about space travel, a lot of people know and expect the boost portion of the flight to be loud and thrilling, uh, but what's interesting is re-entry is also very similar as supersonic air is flowing over the vehicle in the feathered configuration, shock waves form on top of the cabin, which are audible to those inside. And for those of you on site watching on the ground, you should be able to hear a double sonic boom as Spaceship Unity once again breaks the sound barrier. All right, folks, we are now subsonic. 
just under 75,000 feet in altitude. Now also note too, this is our first time transmitting HD camera data down to the ground and then out to a global live stream. Uh, so please do maybe see some drops in the feed, but we still have some really great uh, ground footage coming in here. Oh, there we go. Now we can see that is the tail cone of Unity. And the pilots are lowering the feather now. Now, as the feather comes down, the nose of spaceship is going to drop. This is normal and expected. Once that feather is down and locked, the pilots will begin a gentle pull up to a level attitude. And I'm hearing the feather is down and locked now. So at this point, Spaceship Unity is a glider, so it's all about balancing her potential and kinetic energy. So if the pilots want to go faster, they point the nose down. And if they want to go slower, they bring the nose up. And right now I'm hearing the crew's listening to a special soundtrack for the glide. It's the latest release from Khalid, a track called New Normal. And all of us will get to hear that on Earth during our celebration, so stick around for that. I don't know about you all, but I am still feeling overwhelmed and excited about what we just witnessed. And there's one person in particular who's got to be having all of the feels right now. You can see him sending a congratulatory shake to his passenger, Colin Bennett, there with him. Let's see if we can connect with the crew again here. Is that manual down to 200? So Richard, you just went to space. This has got to be the ultimate birthday present for you. What was it like? All right, folks, again, sorry, we're, we're not getting that transmission through the live broadcast. But again, we do have lots of recording devices aboard the spaceship, and we will be sure to release some footage of Richard and the crew up there today. So I'm so happy we could catch a little part of that. It seems like there's a little bit of a delay in the transmission there. It does have a long way to travel. Um, but you could tell by the smiles on their faces, they just had the ride of their lives. We are so excited for them to land and party the rest of the day with, like astronauts, in the typical Virgin fashion. So 
So we are at 22,000 feet now and descending. And as I mentioned earlier, Unity is a glider at this point. Um, so the pilots right now are discussing their energy management plan. And pretty shortly here, they'll be meeting up with our Chase aircraft with Jamil and Patrick to get some really cool visuals of Spaceship Unity. Now, as the crew and spaceship make their way across the desert, they are gliding over one of the most remarkable landscapes in the United States and the largest desert in North America, the Chihuahuan Desert. The area around Spaceport includes more than 6,000 square miles of restricted airspace and high desert, which is one of the reasons it was built here. And of course, our future astronauts will be able to take in so much of that natural beauty. And, you know, of course, we also have White Sands nearby. White Sands National Park is just to our east. It's visible right over the Black Range Mountains. White Sands, of course, has been the backdrop for so many films, commercials, and music videos. And it's known for having the largest gypsum dune field on the planet. Khalid's music. So also nearby is the Oregon Mountain Desert Peaks National Monument, and that's nearly half a million acres of protected land that our guest families will be able to experience. And even though temperatures can hit the triple digits in the summer here, we also have cool desert days. And fortunately, our pilots and crew can stay comfortable thanks to their spacesuits. They were designed with our technical spacewear partner, Under Armour, and they're absolutely beautiful, as you can see on the crew there. They're lightweight and made of flight grid knitted fabrics, um, which forms the spacesuit and also helps regulate their body temperature. So also to commemorate this flight from New Mexico, we reached out to the Zia Pueblo who gave us permission to use their sun symbol on our spaceship. This symbol is also a part of the New Mexico state flag and it's embedded with symbolic meaning. The number four is sacred to the Zia people and the emblem represents the four directions, the four seasons, the four times of day, and the four phases of life. We are honored and proud to feature this perfectly balanced symbol on Spaceship Unity's tail cone as we also celebrate our new home. Oh, you can see the chase in the background there outside of Richard's window. The pilots are coordinating with Chase now and discussing their energy management plan. They're at about 9,500 feet in altitude. And the runway out here at Spaceport America is around 4,600 feet in altitude. All right, we have three landing gear down and locked. Now the pilots are gonna be landing on runway three, four today. So that's coming from the south and towards the north for those of you on site watching. And for the non-pilots tuning in, those numbers represent the first two numbers of the magnetic heading of the runway. So for example, three, four is 340 degrees on your compass. We are just about a thousand feet above the field now and on final. 500 feet above the runway, 300 feet. Over the threshold. Main gear touchdown. And we're gonna hold it just like this for a minute before bringing the nose down can see they're already celebrating inside there and the nose is coming down now nose gear touchdown and braking
that incredible drone footage here as we come in. And there is full stop. A perfect landing, Virgin Galactic 4 mission specialist on board from our operational home base, Spaceport America. A beautiful day of flight. What a moment. 